people in Argentina and in the north, they really value value football, soccer. Um, and honestly, that was that was uh, one of the things that I was able to use to get into doors um, was just talking to people about soccer. Um, that you just go up and uh, I was there during the World Cup, which was which was a crazy crazy experience. Um, but uh. I mean, just it, as soon as they start talking about soccer, a lot of people just open up completely. Um, and you're just best pals and they'll invite you in. Um, and I mean, they're Argentin Argentinians are um, open in that way. I mean, they have no problem inviting you in for the most part to, you know, to teach a lesson. They, they love the sport. Um, they're really big, like the, the, the equivalent in Argentina of like the Lakers and Celtics um, for them would be the two teams are Boca and River. Um, like those are those two teams just dominate the country um a lot of times people would ask me point blank um are you a fan of boca or river and uh you know i kind of picked a neutral team so i wouldn't make enemies while i was down there uh, but that's that's the big rivalry um every whenever those two teams play it's a big event um uh it's uh yeah, and during the World Cup or whenever Boca and River were playing each other, the country shuts down completely, and everybody watches. Um, as far as why that is, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know if I don't know if I have a why. I mean, they've had so many great players go through Argentina. Uh, Diego Maradona. They have Yavlino Messi, who's from Argentina. Um, so, and they've always been a pretty good, pretty good soccer country. So, I would say learn learn to love what the people love because that that gets you a foot in the door immediately um and even now i mean i still keep up with what's going on in in so in argentine soccer um yeah i mean that it was it was it was honestly it was a good missionary tool <laughs> christmas is awesome uh it's different from here um they uh one thing that i remember um, Christmas, I feel like Christmas Eve is a bigger deal than Christmas itself. Um, Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, there are, everyone buys fireworks and at, at midnight, everyone just starts shooting them off. Everybody, it sounds like a war zone. Um, but I mean, just huge parties, everybody gets together, um, and they, they just, they celebrate, um, yeah, they just they celebrate together, and then they have a lot of like little holidays. Um, uh, Day of the Worker, Children's Day, um, just all these little holidays, and they get all these holidays off, and it's an excuse for them to party together to hang out together. The day after each of these holidays, you have to be careful because a lot of people are hungover um, and can be a little bit grumpy. <laughs> so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they, they, they love finding finding reasons to hang out together, uh, to be together and, and enjoy each other's company. So tons, tons of Catholics. Um, and if, one thing with Argentina is um, they, be, like, they believe in, in God and in Jesus Christ kind of at a distance. Like they, uh, like they believe in Jesus and that's really it. Like they believe that he's important, but they don't really know why. And a lot of them, like frankly, don't care. Um, they're a lot of them were baptized Catholic as children, and that, that was it. Um, they'll go to church, you know, around Christmas time, around Easter. I mean, they're, they're just really laid back about that about that kind of thing.